Okay, so there's some huge news coming out of India's offshore frontiers. We're talking about a discovery that's been decades in the making, and honestly, it could be a real game changer for the nation's energy future. Let's dive right in. So, what's all the buzz about? What exactly did they find deep down under the waves in a place that's been, well, a super promising but really tough nut to crack for geologists for years? You know it's a big deal when the announcement comes straight from the top. When India's Union Petroleum Minister Hardeep Singh Puri says something like, an ocean of energy opportunities, I mean, that's not just casual talk. That single quote really sets the stage for how massive this could be. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty. What exactly was announced and where did this historic find actually happen? The discovery has a name and an address. It's the Sri Vijaya Poram 2 well, just 17 kilometers off the east coast of the Andaman Islands. After years and years of searching, this is the spot. This is where they finally hit pay dirt and proved the region's potential. But how on earth did they do it? Let's dig into the science behind it all. The numbers, the tech, the stuff that makes this discovery not just big, but really, really exciting. First off, think about this. The water depth here was 295 meters. To put that in perspective, that's like stacking three Statues of Liberty on top of each other, underwater. Just operating at that depth is a massive engineering challenge. And that's just the start. From the seabed, the drill had to push down another 2,650 meters. We're talking about hitting a precise target more than two and a half kilometers deep into the Earth's crust. It's just incredible. Now, this number here might just be the most important one of all. 87%. That's the percentage of methane they found in the core samples they brought up. And what that tells you is that they didn't just find gas. They found high-quality, top-tier stuff. That, my friends, is the geologic jackpot. You know, a find like this is never a lucky guess. It was a really rigorous step-by-step -step process. First, they used advanced seismic imaging to create a map of what's going on down there. Then came that incredibly complex deep water drilling we just talked about. And finally, they had to analyze those core samples in a lab to confirm, yep, the gas is there and it's good quality. Okay, so a find like this is huge on its own, but its true importance, its real weight, comes into sharp focus when you look at it in the context of India's bigger picture, its national energy strategy. See, this discovery is a major win for a really important government mission called Samudra Manthan. It's India's national deep water exploration mission, and its whole reason for being is to do exactly this, find domestic energy sources to cut down on how much the country has to import from others. And this chart really shows you why that mission is so critical. Right now, India depends on imports for about 85% of its energy. A number that high, well, it leaves you vulnerable, both economically and strategically. Every little bit of domestic energy they find helps chip away at that massive dependency. To give you a sense of the potential scale here, experts are already starting to draw comparisons between this new Andaman find and the legendary Krishna Godavari Basin. The KG Basin is a proven energy powerhouse for India, and the hope, the big hope, is that the Andaman Basin could become the nation's next great energy frontier. So let's zoom out even further, because a discovery this big doesn't just matter to India, it has the potential to start reshaping the entire energy map of the region, both geopolitically and economically. Now, here's something that gets geologists really excited. The Andaman Basin sits along the exact same hydrocarbon highway, so to speak, as the proven gas fields in Myanmar and Indonesia. This find basically confirms what scientists have been saying for decades, that India is tapping into a much larger, energy-rich system that runs through Southeast Asia. So what does this all mean in the real world? Well, if this basin can be developed, it could kick off a whole chain of benefits. You boost domestic production, which cuts down on that huge import bill. It'll attract new global partners with cutting-edge tech. And with more of its own gas, India gets a stronger hand to play in global energy markets. Not to mention, it could spark a whole new wave of economic growth right there in the Andaman region itself. Okay, but let's take a deep breath and ground the excitement for just a second. Making a discovery is one thing. Having a commercially viable reservoir is a whole other ballgame. The crucial next step is to do more tests, drill more wells, and figure out just how big this thing is. Is it a small pocket, or is it the vast ocean of gas everyone's hoping for? And that really leaves us with the ultimate question, doesn't it? The science is there, the location is strategic, the potential is absolutely immense. But there are still challenges ahead. 
Is this subscriber the first shot in a new era of energy independence for India? Only time and a whole lot more drilling will tell.